Haleluya. Haleluya. If you believe that you and your family are already receiving the divine touch of God, shout a powerful hallelujah. And if you know that this night is going to be an unforgettable night for you and all that pertains to you, shout another believing hallelujah. Tonight, we've had stellar presentations and spirit-lifting ministrations by the children and teenagers of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I thought we'd be celebrating Jesus in their lives. We can make it louder. Hallelujah. We pray that our children and teenagers will continue to be used for the Lord's glory in Jesus' name. Scripture says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. It is now time for us to hear of the goodness of the Lord in the lives of his people. For tonight's service, we have the online testimonies and the live testimonies. But first, the online testimonies. Our first testimony for this special Holy Ghost service is from Sister Gladys from Nigeria. Sister Gladys is testifying to the glory of the Lord. The Lord gave her miracle babies at the age of 52 after a long delay. But in 2012, one of the babies was diagnosed with a blocked intestine. He was, scheduled to, he was scheduled to have two surgeries, with one giving him a 50-50 survival chance. But she brought the child to the April Holy Ghost service for the year 2012, put his feet on the campground, asking God to heal him, and God completely healed him. No medications no surgery at all children of God praise the Lord we have another testimony from sister blessing a do from the United Kingdom she's testifying to the glory of the Lord during the March 2023 special Holy Ghost service daddy Gio prophesied that before the end of March someone will be gainfully employed she claimed it for herself and her husband and the God of daddy Gio gave her husband a miraculous job before the end of March praise the living Jesus another testimony for tonight is from sister Taibat Sister Taibat Quadri from Nigeria. During the January 2016 Holy Ghost service, themed No More Losses, she came to prepare the Holy Communion and attended the Holy Ghost service. Suddenly, she started feeling pains in her womb, and thereby, and the baby rather, started, and the baby in her womb in her womb stopped moving but when pastor ea adeboye came to minister he gave a word of prophecy that there is a woman here the pain in your womb is like fire daddy says he is putting an end to it now immediately the baby kicked and was delivered safely on April 7th, 2016. Hallelujah! We have another testimony from Sister Imolayo from Nigeria. She battled with an allergy for 15 good years. She couldn't drink cold drinks, fold clothes, open soaps, or sweep. She was placed on daily medications and was told she would take it 
for life. But during the December 2022 Holy Ghost Holy Communion service, Daddy Gio prophesied that our greatest challenge in 2022 would become our greatest testimony and God answered her prayers. To the glory of God, she has not taken drugs since that day and can do all things she couldn't do before. Praise the Lord! Brother Kai, Kai Ode, Odeyemi from Nigeria is also testifying. He had pus coming out of a healed wound on his back. During the special divine encounter program, when daddy asked us to pray for healing, he prayed and God stopped the smelling pus coming out of his body. Shout a powerful hallelujah. Another testimony from Sister Ajoke Anyao from Canada. She placed the han handkerchief prayed on by Daddy Gio during the December 2021 Holy Ghost, serve, Holy Ghost Congress on her sick daughter. And God miraculously healed her completely. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Last but definitely not the least online testimony for tonight is from Dickness Tina Alagao from Nigeria. Dickness Tina went for group evangelism and met a nine-year-old boy battling epilepsy disease for seven years. They led the boy to Christ and prayed for him using the handkerchief prayed on by our Father in the Lord. And to the glory of God, God healed him of the epilepsy completely. Let somebody shout another powerful hallelujah. Now to our live testimonies. My names are Brother Ukwe Andrew Gambo from Taraba Province 2. In fact, I was diagnosed that my heart has fell, my kidney fell, the liver accumulated with a lot of fat, and I have prostate. I was following that the GO on every program he is doing. As God we have it, July 2022, he did program pertaining healing. He said anything that is damaged, God will repair it for us. And if it is damaged beyond repair, God will create one for us. So I claim it. To God be the glory. The person that they say his heart has failed, the kidney has failed, the liver has damaged, prostate. Now I'm standing before the congregation to give God the glory to say I am properly healed. Here is the ECG with me here. And here is the extra with me. To God be the glory, I am healed perfectly. Praise the Lord. My name is Miss Anna Oyediron. I come from Sanctuary of Law Parish, Redeem, Bethel area, Key of David, Ogu Province 22. Last month, during Solemn Assembly, the last Solemn Assembly, the Batakari program, Timodele, Mobama Momodei, mo wa si odun awon nibo mi mo ba won ni waju ta won mo gbe set idani won si sunkun anu shemi won sunkun yan gan 
mo wa duro mi o le won nule lo mo duro ti won titi won fi ba won ton ba soro tan igba ti won soro tan mo ni madam ki lo de ta nsun kun won ni omo awon ni school pe o subu omo de yi pe o fi iwaju so ile sugbon awon teacher ti toju e awon na ti toju e sugbon instead ki iya to wa o ma Bruce ni pe o ti e ti wo si oju owo tun yen o wa gbe omo yen wa si solemn assembly fun awon tin se check up ni during solemn assembly gba ti won gbe dodo won won ni won so yi pe oju agbara awon lo won wa lo si last hospital gba ti won gbe debe won stitch oju omo yen won plaster oju e won wa ni madam e ma sukun mo she gbagbo ipe olorun le se o le da oju omo yen pada tori won ni pe ko ri ran mo won ba ni awon gbagbo mo ni ko je ka lo si ile won o wa mu an ka chief ti awon baba wa no oluwa pastor ji o ti won gbadura si fun wa ati anoint ti won gbadura si fun wa mo wa tele ma mo mo de lo si ile won ni bi ti won ti omo de si ati awon yoku won mo fi anoint yen mo fi si waju omo de mo mu matu yen ti awon dadi wa gbadura si mo fi si bi oju yen mo bere si ni gbadura pe olorun baba mi adeboye olorun ko se unti ni e oba ti ki doju ti ni ni e ni pa nka chief yi opolopo oku lo ti jidide wa gba gogo oju omo de yi rejoice baba mi olorun baba mi adeboye oye wa da oju na pada ki gogo ogo ko je tin e wa je ri ara yin e wa fi si tobi yin han mo gbadura yin ni won ba ti mo mo gbadura igba ti ma fi pade pare adura ara tin de omo yen emi lo sile gba to la rojo kejuma me so pe omo yen sun dada mo ni olorun to bere ise re yo se ase pe re igba ti ma mo omo deyin mu omo lo si hospital pada ni last hospital igba ti awon doctor ri oju omo deyin oju e ti pada bo sipo o ti bere si ni fi oju yi riran won wa bi ma mo omo deyin pe bawo lo se se madam o ni olorun ni Praise the Lord. Let the living soul shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The summary of the testimony of our sister is this that this little girl that you saw on the screen fell at school and her right eye was badly damaged and she was taken to the hospital and they bandaged it etc etc and she took the mantle that is the handkerchief and the anointing oil which daddy geo blessed took it to the mother of the baby applied it on the baby and the baby slept very well and before you say jack robinson the baby received are healing by the grace of God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Dekin Elvis Opara. Um, I worship with Upper Room Parish, Upper Room Area, Upper Room Zone of Lagos Province 40. And by the grace of God, um, in year 2015, we got married. And um, about a year later, we, we were not seeing anything. So we went to the hospital and we were recommended for some checkups, um, some tests. By the time the result came, uh, my wife was diagnosed with a blocked fallopian tube. And I, on the other hand, with a low sperm count. So we look at ourselves and we knew that it's only God that could do it. And by the grace of God, uh, by June that year, I signed up for um, the special dates with the God of Daddy Jew. And while at the program, by the grace of God, immediately Daddy prayed for us. I sat on the seat Daddy sat on. And by the grace of God, that same year, I signed up as a covenant partner and I performed my due towards this auditorium. And December that year, my wife and I came here while this place was on construction. 
we were privileged to walk into the into the altar and all that and we prayed a simple prayer to god and we said god on this altar we know you are going to do marvelous things and we told him that this is our situation and we have been listening to testimonies about how you responded to people 10 years 15 years and we said god our own we want it at the fastest time and we went home um 2017 god favored us in many aspects and to the glory of god by 2018 it was our third year anniversary the morning of that day i was feeling very down because i thought there was nothing to celebrate but to my surprise my wife was really really excited and all that and i just had to key into the celebration shortly two weeks after that only for us to discover that she was pregnant and by the grace of god december that year god gave us Chidum, Uluwa Damilola, and to the glory of God, just three years later, he gave us another one, praise, to confirm himself. And this boy, as you see him, is so much loved at the Geo to the point that the first icon he, re he recognized on the TV was redeemed. And you dare not change the channel 349, you know, anytime that the Geo is praying. So I want to say thank you, God. Today I have come to pay this debt and let your name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord! Let somebody shout hallelujah! My name is Mrs. Uche Omoni. I came all the way from Niger State. I, was I, um, I got married in the year 2014 and I was a redeemer before I got married. But when I got married, it made me to change from redeemer to Baptist church. That year that I got married in 2014, I was believing God for fruit of the womb. But throughout the year 2014, it was not coming. So in the following year, 2015, I came for September Special Holy Ghost Night. And I prayed and made a vow to God that if God should bless me with the fruit of the womb, that I will come back here to testify to the goodness of the Lord. But due to ignorance, I never came. Then when it was a year, this is the fruit of the womb, this is the child. By the grace of God, it will be seven years by June this year. Then, when it was a day, exactly one day to his one year, this child convulsed. He started convulsing. And from that day, we have been treating him on convulsion, which we have done medically and, and locally, but all to no avail. At a point, we were advised to go for an, a, a test. They call it EGG test, which we did. And when the result came out, it was discovered that he is epileptic. So after we done that, we started treating him on epilepsy, all to no avail. Unlike other children that they were treated the same way and they got out of it. So last week, on Sunday precisely, I went for a program. And in that program, after the program, I went to the woman of God. I told her my problem concerning my son. In the prayer, God opened the woman's eyes. And she was made to know that I made a vow somewhere concerning my child, which I never fulfilled. And the woman, I opened up to the woman that this is true, that this is what happened. Which the woman said, I should make sure that I come here. That God said I should come and ask for forgiveness. And I should bring this child to him. That is a covenant child. That when I go back, I should take this child to redeem. That is why I have come here to redeem my pledge. And to ask the God of the EA Adeboye. That God to place his divine touch on my son. And grant him perfect and divine healing. That free him from the spirit of epilepsy. And God should show me mercy. Praise the Lord. Please, Daddy, uh, permit me to roll on this altar to appreciate God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I am Kemi Badejo. I'm giving this testimony to the glory of the Almighty God. On behalf of my daughter, who was disturbed from tuslysis for about 18 years. 
It's God's way it's time that the doctor also advised that uh, we should allow them to operate it and remove it. But she said no, that Jesus Christ, the God of uh, Baba Deboye, will remove it for her. So we, we add on our faith, keep trusting the word of God. So whenever it comes like that, she will place uh, the anointed handkerchief, sometimes anoint the place with the oil. So, to God Almighty, be the glory, true, true. The God of Daddy Ade Boye, our Lord Jesus Christ, has removed the thought slices of about 18 years. He has perfectly and permanently he are. She is now completely old to the glory of the living God. Praise the name of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We are pastor and assistant pastor Onyekachi Adibe from LP61, Region 19. We have come to return all glory to God who remembered us after 16 years of waiting. We got married in the year 2006 and since then we've been believing God for the fruit of the womb. In all things, God showed himself faithful. Every prophecy that God through our Father in the Lord will make on this altar, we will hold on to it, serving the Lord in our various parishes. Until November 2021, the word came again. It, my appointed time. Indeed, my appointed time came, and God remembered us. By 2022, July, God gave us two bouncing baby boys, David and Daniel Oyekachi Adibe. Somebody praise the Lord. We have come to thank that you, our Father in the Lord, and the God of Redeemed Christian Church of God for his faithfulness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Olubukola Adenuba from LP62, all of Gladness area. It happened that two years ago, my daughter was always getting sick. Until last year, one of the doctors said we should go for a genotype test, which we did and it came back as an SS. I cried unto God. I said, the devil took one, don't let him take this one. And then November, Holy Ghost service, that the Jew said there will be an anointing of healing in December Congress. And then my husband said, you have to go there with her. We came here, she was anointed. The test too was anointed. And I told the test on this ground, as I was sharing it, I was telling God, this is man's report. God, I want your report. If only you can just clean the S in front. I'm not asking for too much. Then February, she was sick again. And I told them to add the genotype test to it. And lo and behold, Jesus did it. He turned it from SS to AS. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Sunday Onomusi and Kemi Onomusi who happens to be my wife. We came from Ogun Province 2, Region 12. By the special grace of God, we got married November 11, 2006. And since then, we have been looking unto God for the fruit of the womb. On February 5th, 2022, for the first time in the history of our marriage, it was confirmed that my wife was 
positively tested. By the special grace of God, we are very happy. But when it got to on the 28th of the same February, it was, she was seeing some blood. So I quickly rushed out to the hospital. So when we got there, the doctor said she's going to be on bed rest. So she was placed on bed rest. After three months, the doctor said he didn't see anything. I said that is the doctor's report. That is not our God's report. So I hold on to my wife. We prayed. And she said to me, go home. Go and bring that this mantle unto me. So she made that mantle as she tied it on her waist. So after a month later, the doctor said there is nothing there. Confirmed that there is something there. As if that was not enough. When he got to the, around June, then she was completely in the hospital. So around, on the, on, on, I mean, June, by June then, contractions started again. I said, what is this? But she said, my dear, don't worry. She used the mantle again, tied it on her head. And the doctor was saying, what is all this? As if, he said, you this, um, I said, that's, well, there's no problem. But as God, we have it. On October 1st, 2022, God gave us Enoch. He gave us Ireoluwa. He gave us Toluani. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. share the name of the Lord for having wiped away my tears for over 25 years. The Lord did it for me. When I were, we were in 2023, I came to see Daddy through uh, Daddy, uh, the Daddy, the father to Pastor Tony Adeboye. And Daddy said I should stay, that God will perfect everything. I waited Praising God, come to the camp. I don't, doesn't miss any of the Holy Ghost services. I come every month. So when our, our pastor came in 2017, and she, he said I should write another letter and send it to Daddy Chiyo. So I wrote the letter, and he helped me present the letter, and I received a reply that God will soon do it. I will soon shout another I will shout, shout hallelujah. So, very soon, I was racing again. I trust God. I believe him. But in 2020, mom, my God, that changes not. The God of Adeboye that remembers me. And he did it on the 17th of July 2021. I'm Mrs. Oyebanji Adiola from Open Heaven Parish, Open Heaven Area, Open Heaven Sona Headquarters. I'm from Lagos Province 53. So that year, God did it in a miraculous way that I cannot even explain. So I see that in George James to please pray and lay hands upon my children and pray for them. I praise the name of the Lord. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. And I want to sing a song. Mo du kwa mi kwa mo ri anu ba tori ki se gbogbe niyan lori anu ba Let somebody shout hallelujah We are Commodore and Mrs. Samuel and Uruato in Shemba, they retired. And I'm also a deacon in the redeemed Christian Church of God. We, are, we got married 16 October 1993. And since that time, we have been waiting upon the Lord. We wrote to Dalijio 2008, 
you reply us personally and said we will hear our testimony. We hold on to that word and keep on praying. 2016, children will go service like this in April. While we were coming, my wife said, we don't have a child, but we still go anyway. I said, yes, of course. After all, that Jesus said, all of us are children in the hands of the Lord. As we came, and as we were about to sit down, that Jesus mounted the altar, and he said, there is somebody here, where you were coming, you said you don't have a child, but you still came anyway. My daddy said, when you will be giving your testimony, you will testify with your children. I look at my wife, and we smile, and we shouted, Amen. Before Congress double portion, Daddy Jew announced the team. And I look at my wife. I said, do you know that before that Congress, we can have our double portion? She said, Amen. And lo and behold, before Daddy filling that announcement that day, Daddy said, my Daddy said, there's somebody here, even before that double, double portion Congress, you will carry your double portion. So I look at her. And say, you see, Daddy has confirmed it. I got retired January 22 as a Commodore. March 22, my wife was confirmed pregnant. November 18, Daddy, that time, we are 29 years, one year, and 14 days. And we carry our double portion. We carry David and Daniel. Daniel. Iriolua, Kokwefolua, Adeleke, Shinyambade, then David, Oriolua, Finifolua, Adeboye, Shinyambade, Udi. Jesus! Daddy, please give them a name each. We want Daddy to give them a name each and just send a word to them. Just send a word to them. Let somebody shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! To the God who turns mourning to joy, who turns shame to rejoicing, who makes the barren fruitful, who changes the doctor's report, who heals of epilepsy, who changes 60 years of barrenness, who changes blood diseases and makes it right, to the one who makes impossibilities possible, who employs those who are unemployed, who does great things, miracles, mind-blowing testimonies, celebrate our God, for truly the Lord is mighty in our midst in the redeemed Christian Church of God, to the God who is not tired of doing miracles. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Who did it? Jesus! Oh my God! Wow! Hallelujah! Please be seated in the presence of God. And I pray that as you have celebrated these testimonies, you are the next in line to testify in Jesus' name. Amen.